Hey, LeGrand Alive, this is Will Bowman. I'm here at Nature's Pantry for their local Vendors Appreciation Day, and I'm here with Becky Platts of Platts Farm here in uh, LeGrand slash Union. They're out of Union, Oregon, correct? Right. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about her farm, and so we're going to try some of her products. So thank you for joining me, thank Becky. You. And uh, why don't you tell me about your, a little bit about your farm? Okay. <laughs> um, it, this was actually the dream of my husband, Joe Platts. And uh, he has just always wanted to farm ever since he was little. And he actually works in other areas right now. But um, this is what he's wanted to do. So we are slowly working to become um, a very full, rounded farm and to sell both here at the Farmer's Market in Legrand and as well as out of our home. So we have a stand in right I've there. been out to your stand. It's a wonderful little stand. And right. you gave me three berries one time. And I, uh, Great. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I came out and I had a credit card and I couldn't, I didn't have any cash with me and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get these berries for my girlfriend. And then you were like, let's go. I paid you back later, but that's okay. okay. It was really, really nice. Okay. So I was really much appreciated. <laughs> so um, how long have you been doing the Platts Farm? Well, we've been working at it for probably three years, but um, this was our first full year of going all the way from spring into fall and actually wow. having a stand at our house for the whole summer. Wow. So we have um, a lot of berries and we do you pick berries in the summer. And uh, so that's kind of the thing that makes us a little different than other farms. That's kind of our little niche. Yeah. And um, I love how all the farms work together and everybody has their little niche, but that happens to be ours. The, the you pick side of things. Right. You know, last year, I had no idea that you pick existed until mm -hmm. this last year. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that you could just, and my girlfriend, she brought me this little pamphlet that was like, oh, here's all these you pick farms. And I was like, what? <laughs> I can pick my own berries. Yeah, that's so cool. It is. It's a really great thing to do with families, and we have a lot of um, older people who did it when they were children and want to go back and do it again. So it's great. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So let's try some of your things. So what what do we got here? What should, what should I try first? Okay, so this is fall, and so this is a great time to be using your squash and sugar pie pumpkin. So here's a butternut squash and a sugar pie pumpkin. So what's the difference between a sugar pie pumpkin and a regular pumpkin? Um, other pumpkins are made specifically to decorate or to turn into your jack-o'-lanterns, and a sugar pie pumpkin is actually the thing that they make into pies. Or really? squash. Mm -hmm. I thought that just all pumpkins were for pies. No, definitely not. <laughs> But you can eat the seeds from all of them, and you can oh. roast them, and they're really good for you. So I probably shouldn't eat all of the pop pumpkins that are now rotting on my girlfriend's porch. It's probably not the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will make sure to note that. Because last year we tried to do that because one of our pumpkins rotted, and we salvaged what we could, yeah. and then it just sat in our freezer all year, and we never ended up doing anything. Yeah, so it's it probably good, good that it yeah. didn't do anything with it. Not the best flavor. Okay. So... We have um, radishes, which is something we have a lot of right now. They're okay. very fresh and wonderful and mild. Okay. And some of them we actually had lime juice and um, a smoked alder salt. And I think you have a plain one, I think. So hopefully we'll you'll have your fresh radish that was just picked and sliced this morning. Mm. No, I think I can. Can I taste the lime juice? No, that's just a regular radish. Yeah. It's like the placebo effect. You tell me and then I can <laughs> taste the lime, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but they're really fresh and they're mild, so they're not that peppery. It is. Spicy it is. It's definitely a lot less like. I remember the first time I ate a raw, um, a raw radish. I was like, "Whoa!" You know, like I didn't realize that I was going to be consuming <laughs> something that was going to make me sweat. Right. You know, but, but I mean, these it's don't. very, very good. Yeah. Um, very, very good, and grown right here in the valley. Right, and they're great too because they um, you can roast them. Or you can saute them, and people don't realize that because usually you see radish, you associate that with a, a salad. But in this case, you don't have to. So you can roast them along, right alongside of meat. Some people use them instead of potatoes. Really? Yeah, and they actually taste good. <laughs> really? So yes. you, and is that baked or sauteed or what do you? Well, do? you can choose. You can roast them right in the oven, or you can. I I sometimes cut them up and just put them in olive oil or um, butter, adobo seasoning, whatever you'd like, and you can eat them that way. Oh, They're quite that's good. Really, that sounds really cool. We're gonna yeah. have to try that sometime. Yeah, I might have to come over and buy some of your radishes and go <laughs> home and make up. I'm getting, I'm getting all sorts of fun and fun and interesting ideas about ideas. cooking for yeah. today. Yeah. Good. <laughs> all right. So what else so, do we got? The second thing is a pumpkin soup, and this has um, wow, maple soup. syrup and cinnamon and nutmeg and vegetable broth in it. Wow. But um, it's it's pretty. So is this regular? Is this regular pumpkins or sugar special pumpkins? pumpkins? Okay, These are all sugar pumpkins. pie pumpkins. Okay. Yeah. You can use them for squat. You could do squash and do the same thing. There's a lot of great squash type recipes. It definitely has that reticent taste of pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a lot more earthy and you know vegetable brothy, but it definitely mm -hmm. I can taste a little bit of pumpkin pie in there. And when you're talking about soups, 
what better thing to taste than pumpkin pie? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> my son said, one of my sons said the same thing. It's like, Mom, I feel like I'm drinking a pumpkin pie. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that way. You can put more onion in it, or you can put salt in it, mm -hmm. or you can do other things to change the flavor if you don't like that. But it's very good for you, right? Lots of vitamin A. Lots of vitamin A. All right. Sounds good. All right. So what is this lab? Now, I've already tasted this, but I'm going to pretend that I didn't for the sake of okay. the video. <laughs> Well, a lot of people have um, extra squash in their garden and don't really know what to do with it. So this is a, something you would put as a side vegetable on your plate with meat and a salad. And this is a roasted sugar pie pumpkin. And it has um, soy sauce and maple syrup um, mm. on it with cinnamon, nutmeg, or ginger. This one, this one has ginger on it. Oh, man, I had so. some ginger tea earlier. I'm not a big ginger fan, uh -huh. but um, fortunately, I think that the earlier ginger of the tea like so scalded my, my taste buds that I can't taste anything anymore. So oh. <laughs> I'm not a big I'm not a big ginger fan, but that's oh. okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's more flavor to this than just ginger. Yeah. <laughs> I said when I saw this first, it looks like a shrimp, but it does. It tastes like a pumpkin. I can't taste the ginger, so that's yeah. good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> But you can cook this, you can bake this, roast it, um, so that it's soft, more like a french fry mashed potato kind of thing. Put yeah. more oil in it, it makes it crunchier. Or you can make it not as long so that it's uh, more of a firm vegetable. So it, it's really kind of flexible. Uh, versatile you know, you, know you always see these kind of um, vegetables, you know, and you'll never quite know how to cook them. Mm -hmm. You know, like you look at an acorn squash and you're like... <laughs> What do I do with What that? do I do with this thing <laughs> that's just sitting there and yeah. it's got this hard shell on the outside, you know? And you cut it open and it's got all this wonderful uh, butternut squashes that way. Um, uh, what's the other squash? Uh, There's a sweet meat that's, that, that's they're big and uh, light green color. They're very pretty. They look like a pumpkin, but they're light green mm. and they're really hard to cut open. But it's the sweetest of the squash. Really? And I can't cut it open myself, so I just put the whole thing in the oven and roast it at 350 until it's soft <laughs> enough that I can do it. But it's delicious. It's delicious. just a really good squash. That so. sounds great. What, what's yeah. it called? The sweet meat. The sweet meat. Mm -hmm. Looks oh. just like a pumpkin. It's light green. They have a couple of them here. Really? Oh, is it that thing right over there that's yeah. floating over there? I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like a giant green, sort of like lightish green pumpkin thing. Sweet meat. Yeah. Wow. There's so, many vegetables. There's so many vegetables out there that you just, like you walk <laughs> in the store and you kind of were like, it feel like amazing. the ice cream aisle. You know, you walk into the ice cream aisle and you're like, I can't do this. There's just too many decisions. <laughs> like, do I want ultra fudge or do I want double ultra fudge? Or do I want double ultra fudge with, you know, cinnamon in it? I, I don't know. Too many choices. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Well, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Your farm? Are you guys open right now? Your, your, your stall probably isn't open right now right. during the winter, correct? Right. We are um, definitely winding down. So we have um, some winter squash left, and then we have a high tunnel. So we have a lot of mixed lettuce in there. We have some spinach, cilantro, um, beets with beet greens, um, I don't know, a few other things. So we have a little bit left. We also do eggs, um, oh, local honey. So we have some of those kinds of things. But we're definitely on the winding down. So this is probably our last week that will actually be open to sell. We also have a Facebook page, and so I post things on there. Uh, and let people know so if they want to order they can and then come pick it out on another day. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for coming thank and you. chatting with me and goofing off with me. This is super <laughs> fun. And thank you, LaGrande Alive. Again, this was Becky Platts. We're here today at Nature's Pantry for their local foods, our local vendors appreciation day. Stay tuned. We'll be here for the rest of the day uh, just kind of talking with people. And uh, if you're interested in some good local grown vegetables, Platts Farm is out in Union, Oregon, just right off the, right off the road as you're heading yep. out towards um, Union. Towards LeGrand, correct? So you just take a right off of the uh, off of the main highway and yeah. you're right there, right? Right. And I, I usually say if people are coming from LeGrand, you'll see our sign on the left and you just make a left and we're the first house. Very okay. easy to find. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you LeGrand Alive. Stay yeah. tuned for more local content.